Morning and welcome to Beer to Be Head Office in Parsons Green, South West London. It's Monday the 9th of January and we're here this morning to judge the most recent Super Drives competition, which is rally driving in Lapland. It ran from December the 5th until January the 8th. Now I'd like to hand over to Sophie Wilkinson from Onside Law, who will be overseeing the judging this morning. My name's Sophie Wilkinson from Onside Law and I'll be overseeing the judging this morning. Firstly, I can confirm that the competition data has already been sent to the auditors Wilkins Kennedy. I'd now like to introduce today's judges and ask them to pick a car out of the bag to determine their seating position. So firstly, Matthew Ray. Hi. Morning. Hi. Hi, my name is Matthew Ray. I'm affiliated in multiple counties across England and a referee from grassroots through the professional academies. Red. And next, Ari Mandonka. Morning, Sophie. Morning. Morning. My name is Eddie Mendonca. I'm an ex-football player, now a referee since 2002. Orange. Thanks. And Sol Campbell. Morning. Morning. My name is Sol Campbell. I've played over 500 times in the Premiership and I'm a fully qualified coach. Yes. And Trevor Weaver. Hi. Good morning, I'm Trevor Weaver, been refereeing for nearly 30 years now, currently refereeing on the Southern Amateur League and the Amateur Football Combination. Green. And finally, Andy Braithwaite. Good morning. Good morning, Sophie. Hi. Good morning, I'm Andy Braithwaite, uh, Senior County Referee, been refereeing for approximately 13 years and I'm a Chelsea supporter. Blue. Okay, judges, please mark on the screen where you think the centre of the ball should be. I'll then ask you to do this individually for a few minutes before justifying your position. I'll then ask you all to come to a panel decision on the central screen. Matthew, can you confirm where you've come to your position? Okay, yeah, bit of a tricky one here. Um, we've got the two players on my right, I think is going to give us uh, direction and the position of the ball. I don't think the players on the left um, will give us anything accurate, they're just onlookers. Um, I think the player in black is going to win the ball fairly unchallenged. Um, he's, he's either just about to take it down or, or just release the ball, I think just about to take it down. Um, so I've looked at the angle of his head and his eye. Um, looking upwards and to the left and also the angle of the head of the player in the red trying to cross those two views over and that's why I've placed the cross where I have done. Thank you. Sol, can you confirm how you've come to your position please? Yes, um, uh, there are four players in shot but I'm only really going to be concentrating on the players in the right, uh, the black player and the play player in red. I feel the uh, player in black is definitely going to win the ball um, but the shape of his head and his angle, his body and, and his knee up in the air, I feel that's the kind of end of his uh, extension and he's going to flick the ball. The shape of his foot is outside, he's kind of turned to the side so I feel he's going to clear the ball and the ball is dropping down into him. Uh, so I've taken the eye line of, of him and the red player as well so that's why I've kind of put the spot uh, the cross where I feel the ball is. Trevor, can you now confirm how you've picked your point, please? Yes. Um, as has already been said, the two players on the right of the screen give us the main um, focus. Um, I believe that the player in black will win that ball. I, I think it's probably dropping down. He's going to cushion it or pass it on, flick it on. Um, the shape of the player is the head of the number seven in red. Uh, gives me, I think, a better idea of how close it is, the way he's looking. Play on the left, number 10 in black. I don't think it's given us anything really. He's just generally looking at the players rather than the ball, I believe. So going on the two over on the right-hand side, I've placed my mark there. Thank you. Ari, can you please confirm how you've come to your position, please? Um, yes, I agree with my colleagues as well. Uh, the the blazing on, on the right side, uh, uh, in, player in black and player in red uh, are the ones that are giving, giving me 
more information to, for my decision. Uh, the way the, the, the shape of the, the, the body or the player in, in black, in black uh, tells me that he is about to, to flick uh, the ball. Um, crossing reference with the, um, the player as well in number 10, in black on, on the left hand side. Uh, I, think, I believe he's looking at, at the ball and um, that's why I placed the ball to where it is. Thank you. Andy, can you confirm how you've come to your point please? Yes, thanks Sophie. Um, in my opinion, <coughs> excuse me once again, uh, the two players on the right hand side of the photo um, are the two main uh, protagonists. Um, the guys to the left hand side are slightly back so their, their eye angle doesn't really help us in this particular instance. Um, the guy on the right hand side in black, his leg extension, as my colleagues have said previously, is either about to cushion the ball or flick it away. Um, and that is why I've come to that conclusion there, judging by his eye alignment. Judges, please now come to a panel decision on the central screen. All right, well, we've got quite a spread, haven't we? Yeah. Um, shall we start with something? Blue's probably about the average yeah. point there, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's, you know, you've got to look at the leg extension. Yeah. And you've got to look at his legs and size. The, the ball's dropping into there for yeah. sure. Yeah. Um, and he's either going to control it, but I, I said with angle of his yeah. foot, yeah. He's, he's, going to he's flicking it. Yeah, he's he's flicking not, it. He's not yeah. control ball like that. So I think yeah. once he, if he extends his leg, it's going to be in around there. Yeah. It's not. I, I, no, I can't no, no, no. I, I, yeah, I've, I've gone purely off the eyes to be honest, but I'm, I'm under So if we start day. around about there as a. There's a marker, it actually perhaps should be perhaps higher. Would I like it further to the right? Yes, it should be further to the right, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. quite in the middle of the steps, but off, off to yeah. the right. And slightly higher as well. Yeah, it should be higher. So, yeah, I can see that. I think so. Well, then you've got that, and then if he extends it, it's... You know, if he extends uh, it... The it's impact it's will be some, somewhere like there. Yeah. Well, of course, we... Yeah. Don't know where that ball's come from, do we? We don't know whether it's loop dropping down from here or mm. coming in. Yeah, I agree. Because well, everyone's looking that way. Yeah, yeah. It must be coming yeah. that both way. Yeah. 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 direction. Yeah. Two the ball yeah. must be coming in yeah. Yeah. from the left side. Yeah. yeah, but I don't agree that the ball is already in that position. I think if it was in that position, his foot would be in that. It, his foot would just it's connect dropping in. There. It's dropping so in. It has to be. It has to almost be there. If you know what I mean. That's right. So Can we have a look at his eyes? Yeah. Maybe that would help us. That's all you've got actually, isn't it? He's looking so into the distance he's coming onto. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I can tell. And that's yeah, it's a lot lower than what else is in yeah, fair enough. And nothing else I mean he doesn't give us anything really. Yeah. He's no, looking a bit but, but, but I must admit I looked at the the shape of his head and perhaps no, it's I mean we're we're about, well, we're round about here, aren't we? Yeah. Which is a good average, but mm. slightly lower than those two, so we've taken in mm. Sol's mark. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, honestly, I'm happy with Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. happy with that. Is so everyone happy? Well, seen on yeah. that one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you, judges. The coordinates selected are. Seven nine three three one one. These coordinates will now be passed to Wilkins Kennedy to calculate the winner of the competition, and they will then inform BATB. That concludes the judging process. Thank you.